Okay guys, here's something that's crazy. Did you know that without huge scary lions, tigers, and bears, the world would basically be destroyed? Hi, I'm Alex Farnham, and this is Animalist News. So you might have thought that the only thing big predators like wolves and lions do is hunt deer and antelope, but you are very wrong, my friend. These guys keep the balance of life as we know it, from mountain treetops to the ocean floor. Now I know this sounds crazy, but lions can actually keep grass growing on the riverside, and wolves keep beavers building those dams. Animals affect everything, including the ecosystem. Scientists are now discovering that without animals, especially the large predators, the ecosystem would be a mess. And this is a huge problem, guys, because all over the world, the predators like wolves, lions, and even sea otters are in decline, and it's literally changing the world as we know it. In fact, Professor William Ripple of the Department of Forest Ecosystems and Society at OSU has documented the way that the population of wolves in Yellowstone affects its plant and wildlife immensely. Without wolves, animals like deer that graze and eat all the plants take over, which in turn depletes everything the landscape had, including plants and other animals. But when wolves returned, there were fewer grazing animals and more plants that brought life back to the ecosystem. You guys, things like this are happening all over the world. So Ripple, along with other colleagues from the US, Australia, Italy, and Sweden, have formed the Large Carnivore Initiative for Europe, which is affiliated with the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Ripple states, human tolerance of these species is a major issue for conservation. We say these animals have an intrinsic right to exist, but they are also providing economic and ecological services that people value. So it seems to me that even though we see these large, dangerous, meat-eating animals as scary, everything does have a purpose, even them. And without them, our beautiful planet Earth well, it wouldn't exist. So what do you guys think about large meat-eating predators now? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out some other episodes over here. Subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you here in Mammals later.